So I'm in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress 2018. We're here at the Persona stand. I'm speaking with Rui. Rui, good to see you. Yeah, my voice. Um, so Persona has always been focused on the edge of the network. Um, so what was the decision to, to, to focus on that particular part of the, the architecture? Uh, and what does it mean in terms of delivering quality of experience, for example, for mobile operators? The edge of the network is the place where we have visibility on what's happening on a cell base. So uh, this is where you can see all the, the users connecting and uh, all the traffic being delivered to those users. Uh, and we believe that you need that visibility and that granularity to provide a proper service to, to drive quality. Okay. Uh, at the same time, it's also the place where you're closer to the user. So when you take action to uh, manage the, the experience of that user, you want to do it very close to the user where you can act within milliseconds rather than back at the core of the network where uh, every user looks the same so you don't distinguish uh, where they're coming from, which applications are competing, and when you take action it might be a couple of seconds after the event occurred. So uh, we believe that Edge is really the place where you drive the highest quality and manage the experience properly. So the Sona's always been involved in the Mobile Edge computing uh, community in the Etsy group. So can you just talk about some of the, the field trials and deployments that are already out there that, that show the, the capabilities of mobile edge computing? Yeah, that's correct. We've been a member of the Etsy Mac working group uh, since the beginning, contributing both to the standardization activities as well as building some use cases and uh, proof of concepts. Uh, an, uh, an early uh, use case of Mac was uh, throughput guidance, okay. which is the ability to signal, uh, primarily focused on video streaming activities, but signal the content provider what's the best bit rate for that user in that particular moment in the location he is. Uh, and uh, we were one of the first uh, um, vendors providing a solution and working with both a mobile operator and a content provider uh, in a big city deployment uh, showcasing that capability. Uh, more recently, we've been focusing on low latency applications. Right, okay. Uh, today at Mobile World Congress, we're showcasing a, a Mac breakout uh, type of application. Uh, this year, uh, we started last year actually looking into industrial IoT. Uh, and this year, we're working with a, a big tier one mobile operator for a consumer uh, play. We talk about uh, hosting um, graphics intensive uh, mobile gaming that requires uh, uh, heavily traffic processi uh, graphic processing as well as low latency control. And we're hosting that uh, into a Edge Cloud uh, platform with GPU capabilities. And that's an application that is uh, usable today, it's so a real time, but uh, it only works with very low latency. And we're showcasing that it can work on an LTE network. Right, so okay. We're doing it with, uh, on our platform with a function that we're adding to our platform. Uh, and we're working with, uh, with an operator that really wants to uh, productize this type of uh, service. So as you mentioned here at the show, you're unveiling Edge Breakout for latency sensitive services. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that and, and why it's important and what kind of services it can help to deliver? The operators have a, an opportunity because they are the ones closest to their customers. They have infrastructure close to the customer. Currently, most of the applications that are provided through mobile network are hosted in a, in a, in a cloud or over the internet. So those uh, infrastructures do not allow for new applications that require very low latency. Uh, there's been talks about uh, automat autonomous driving, uh, industrial IoT, IoT, all of those use cases, and everyone uh, knows that this is going to be the future. Uh, but we've been trying to focus on how can you bring that to something which is apl applicable today uh, and you can deploy it in the current networks, the LTE networks. So we came up with this uh, gaming uh, solution. Uh, and uh, the interesting thing about finding use cases for the edge is there's a number of ideas which uh, you could deploy at the edge. It would be nice to deploy at the edge, but if you deploy them somewhere else uh, in the cloud, they still work somehow. Right. But when you look at the gaming application where you actually need to have this very low latency, so the graphics quality needs to be very good, so it needs to be processed at the edge and played back, and then the response from the, the player, the control, needs to be very low latency. So this is a typical application that can only work for, from the edge with low latency. Now, the breakout is not enough for that because you need consistency. So what we're bringing okay. is our existing traffic management capability to ensure that if uh, there is no congestion in the cell, you have the low latency that the, the breakout brings at the edge. But when 
there's more users coming into that cell, more competing traffic, streaming, video, browsing, and so on, that you can still maintain that low latency. So what have you been hearing here at the show, but also outside the show from operators about their requirements and needs for, for mobile edge computing? And, and how is this going to play out as we move towards the, the 5G era? There's been a lot of talking about 5G for the last couple of years, and we've seen operators talk about 5G, and uh, they understand that there's the need to invest in 5G for new applications, low latency applications. Uh, but they also realize that there's a path to 5G. Uh, and uh, they, there's, in terms, there's a learning curve in terms of how you build infrastructure, software infrastructure, and software infrastructure at the edge that they need to go through. But there's also an opportunity to, to actually start doing some of that already with LTE networks. Right. And that's where Mac comes into play. So we've seen more, the last two years, more interest coming from the mobile operators, both here and, and our customers when we talk to them. And we're actually working much closer both with their technology teams and product teams to see how we can bring Mac uh, applications already today so that they can uh, start making that transition also uh, learning a bit about uh, and experience a bit about which services and, uh, uh, and new revenue streams they could start uh, generating with edge type of applications. Okay, and is that mostly enterprise applications or, or residential consumer or a mix of both? In the beginning we've seen more people focus on enterprise and machine to machine. Uh -huh. Now we, we see more also interest in terms of consumer. Okay. Uh, there's, there's a big base of consumers and actually the demo that we have today here is a consumer play. Yeah, yeah. So I think that they're going now in both directions. And everyone understands that potentially enterprise and uh, IoT is going to be the future, but there is also a market uh, for, uh, for the consumer, which we can already start experimenting. So what's the Sona's view about the open source movement uh, and what kind of impact is that having on developments in the, the mobile edge? Yeah, we've been uh, monitoring the, the open source activities and developments, and actually this year we joined the Linux Foundation. <laughs> okay. Um, main reason is uh, we've seen that uh, moving into software, there's a, a, a lot of different elements that play into it from the infrastructure perspective, different software components on the, on the infrastructure, uh, and the open source community has been driving those initiatives that uh, not only allow the, the software to perform, uh, as we need for, uh, for mobile uh, infrastructure or carry infrastructure, but also uh, the, the ways to interconnect all of those elements by working together, creating architectures and references. Um, one of the challenges we saw uh, until now was that there was a lot of, uh, um, let's say, different initiatives happening at the same time. Right, right. Uh, there, there was a lot of fragmentation, uh, but we've seen that things are starting to come together. Linux Foundation finally brought a number of uh, critical networking uh, activities together. Yeah. We felt this was the moment for us to, to step in and contribute. Uh, we believe that also with the support from uh, some of the carriers, recent support, that this is actually going to be the, the right way to drive that consistency forward and bring all the software elements together. Okay. Excellent. All right, Rui, thank you very much for bringing us up to date on yep. what Versona is doing and thank what's going on in the Mobile Edge. Thank it's you. A pleasure.